Well, today on the bench, I'm going to tie you up the flab mayfly, that fly that Grant and Kelly are using on the waters today and catching all the fish. The only difference between a green drake and a flab is the green drakes are a little bigger, have a nice yellow rib to them, and they have longer tails than the flabs. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie this fly. To tie up the flab, we're going to use a TMC 100 size 12 hook. We use some ADOT black thread, some moose mane tips for the tail, some moose mane strands for the body. For the wing, we'll use some gray calf tail and a light down hackle for the hackle. I'm going to start the fly off by tying in a nice gray calf tail wing. And I'm going to measure it up the length of the hook and do a couple loose wraps first and then tighten up. And make sure you tie in this calf tail first. It's really tough to put on the body if you don't get the calf tail in first. And make sure you use calf tail because it does make such a nice big upright wing. I've taken four moose mane tips and we're going to tie these in for the tail. And when you tie it in, make sure you keep it fairly short. Flaps have a real short tail. We're now going to take about 10 moose mane strands and I'm going to tie them in by the tips because I want this body to be tapered. So we'll tie it in by the tips and then slowly take the moose mane and wrap it forward to form the body. Well, since that moose mane is so fragile, I like to coat the body after I've tied it on. So what I'm going to do is I've got some Loon hard head finish here, and you can use Days Flex Cement or even some head cement. And I'm just going to take this Loon product and cement up the body. Well, for the finishing steps, I'm going to take a nice light done hackle, and we're going to tie it in behind the wing and wrap forward. Make sure you tie in that hackle good. Snip off the excess, and then we're just going to wrap the hackle. Well, there it is, the finished flab mayfly. One thing about a flab is it is quite large, and it is a really good food item for fish because it is so large. And one thing to make sure when you're tying it, keep that wing nice and high. They really like a nice big wing on the fly.